Now, down the round, we don't have a TV screen or something to show that. Okay, there's everybody in a silhouette, right? Mm -hmm. My background windows are lit up. Mm -hmm. And some of the little hi you know, highlights of the wall over there and so forth, there's nothing mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And then I just used the flash to reveal you. Now, it wasn't very sophisticated, was it? It was just, Jenny, can you stand over there, Jen, and just hold that flash. And that's uh -huh. as simple as it was, and it produced a whole bunch of light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I want my background to kind of soften and fall away. Because she's my subject, I want to guide you to Jenny. And if her face is sharp, and then all the trees are nice and soft behind her, you'll instantly go right to her face. There's no, you, you'll just go right to her, because everything else you just, oh, that's sort of inconsequential. She's the main subject. All right. Come on over on this side. Now, here comes our softbox. Now, this is a sort of principle of lighting that, that's sort of hard for folks to understand. The smaller the light source, this is a light source, and this is small. The smaller the light source, the harsher the light on the subject. It's sort of going to cause more sort of rigid shadows and that sort of thing. The larger the light source, and the light source is still small, but inside this box now the light source has become quite large. Okay. Is the sun a large light source or a small light source? It's a pretty, pretty big star. I mean, you know. big. 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 How many say big? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. No, it's not. It's really small. When you go look at it, it's only that big. It's the size of a quarter in the sky. It's very small. Because it's so far away. But right? the light rays are all parallel. I don't care about the math or how that works, Charles. <laughs> man. All I know is it's harsh. And at 12 noon, it is really harsh light. It's really harsh light. So I want to have a larger light source if I can do it. There's a couple ways I can accomplish that. I can bring a softbox in. If I had a huge white wall here, I could actually point the flash at the wall and bounce light off a great big white wall, and that's going to be a great big light source that's going to fill in Jenny's face over here. Okay.